So we have everybody freaking out because of the move down that we had last night. Um, we went well under the 3600 level and we've dropped all the way down to the 33, 32 area. Now, where do we go from here? Well, I'm going to give you some scenarios of what I'm looking at and longer term, I'm going to point you back up to here. And I have a fairly good idea of one of the scenarios of what's likely to play out by what all of this meant. The first move down, the bounce, the move down here, the structure that was here that I bought, and then I went short up here, and then I covered here and under, and now I'm back in buying mode. Now, what is this going to look like? Well, let's go over and draw some uh, pictures so you can see. Do, 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 do. Let's draw that. Let's draw these lines big. We'll make them like that. Boom. All right. So, you know what? Probably need multiple ones just so we can denote it in a bigger. Fortunately, the lines they give you on Trading View, they don't make them very big, do they? They should make them larger. All right, so there, I'll put three red lines that shows you that. Now let's go here, let's do it again. Three red lines that go up to there. This is, I feel like I'm five, drawing pictures, how cute. And, come on, and let's do another one. Now you're going to start to see this makes sense, maybe. Maybe it won't make sense to you, but it makes sense to me. So let's draw some more lines on down. Do, 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 do. We don't know where this is going to end up. We can't predict the future, remember? Right? But let's say it's somewhere around here as an exaggeration, because markets love to exaggerate, by the way. It's just the nature of them. Boom, boom, boom. And let's do another one right here. Do, 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 do. There you go. Okay, there, that looks better. And then, let's say, from here, is actually kind of fun. Draw it back up to there. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Actually, it would be a higher curve. Do a 90. Do, 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 do. Over here. And then last but not least. One there. So let's get that line like that. And then do 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 back down. Let's say like this. Do 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 do. Hmm. Hello. Thank you. Well, if this bores you, too bad. Trading is boring. And you've got to learn to not be emotional and just relax. Relax. Take it easy. All right, now let's have some fun. We're going to change the color of the lights. <laughs> Make them. Oh. Yeah, I'm grabbing the. Okay. Let's say that we go all the way back up to here. Let's put it all the way back up to there. And boom. There we go. Now, do you see the picture that of what I'm looking at as a possibility here? Boom. At some point, we're going to have to check, test the breakpoint, which the breakpoint was in this area here you know, when we collapsed. So this is what's likely to occur 
going out into the future and whatnot. So anyway, that's my little rough diagram and whatnot. You can see that it's a head and shoulders type of pattern. You can make the argument of equanimity. Bring the numbers back up a little bit higher. And I don't know, I messed up all my lines. Ah. Oh, the horror. But anyway, um, perfectionist here. Um, anyway, you can see what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at the head and shoulders, the inverted head and shoulders type of pattern to occur going out into the future. Um, at the very least, we're going to retest this zone up here. It happens the majority of the time. It just is what happens most of the time. I'm not going to be freaking out. I've had a lot of cash on the sidelines thanks to certain um, uh, good trading ranges, you know, like this one here where I was a buyer. And then I went short up here. And then I started buying back under here. You know, so you, I, I've done well. Um, and, uh, you know, I had accumulated cash on the sideline. And now I've got my opportunity. And I'm going to look for this to occur going out in the future. My main goal um, is for us to test the breakpoint. We have to do that at some time in that um, high 5,000 to 6,000 range in this area here. Anywhere when we start getting up into this level in this area becomes the primary target zone. And we'll see what develops there. The geometry hasn't developed right now. We're just going one, two, three. You know, we have to see what happens here. And, I, and this is just from what I have seen in the past, like I tell you in all my trades, observations are what I go off of. And I'm not going to freak out. Now I'm in uh, Ethereum. I started buying it under in the 90, and I'm going to buy more in the 80s. And I'm going to buy more Bitcoin when we get a drop down to the low 3,000 area, under 200 in this block here. And, you know, I'll, I'll go from there and, you know, you know what I'm looking for uh, and we'll see how this plays out. You know, I'm, I'm ready and uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be emotional. I see emotional messages from people. Um, don't pee at me, stuff like that. You know, I, I don't do emotions. I just, it's never going to happen. Win or lose, it, it is what it is. And I have no control over it. I just do what I know and have seen most of the time. So, you know, keep that perspective. Um, I just don't do emotions in trading. And, uh, you know, I, I just don't care, I guess. I, I don't know, I just don't have the ability. Uh, they're just trades and, you know, you move on and move forward. And you, you try to uh, make more than you lose and rinse and repeat and you know, observe what the market does and try to be connected to it. Uh, and, uh, you know, that will serve you well over time. Uh, also, it, it you can't be emotional because it clouds your judgment. You start doing stupid things. You observe, you plan, and you execute. That's all there is to trading. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great week. We'll see how this turns out. And I'll keep on trading. Keep on trucking. Well, I'm not a trucker, so that's not going to happen. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.